Hello, I'm Dr. Gloria Horsley, president of the Open to Hope Foundation, and today I'm interviewing Laura Krawchuk. I'm a clinical social worker in private practice in Westchester, Pennsylvania. You had a bereavement of your own that we talked about, right? Yes, I sure did. I lost my father um, seven years ago, and, and I also lost his mother a, a few months later, and at the same time I was having a couple of babies. It was pretty intense. What's your advice to people who've had the loss of a parent? Uh, I would find someone to listen to the story and the impact, uh, whether that's friends who can really deeply listen and not give advice about how to quickly heal, which isn't realistic, or it's a professional or a trusted clergy, but speaking to someone and telling your truth and honoring the pain is hugely important to find that healing. Right, because people uh, kind of say, well, uh, it's a parent, right? It's not, you know, a big deal. We've all lost parents or what, but it is a big deal. It's a huge deal. Um, it's it's for some people it's life life altering. It's the person who uh, you may have loved the most, or you may have had the most conflict with, or there may be things that needed to be said that weren't, um, or there were so many life experiences that you wanted to do with that person in witness. That was my experience. Um, I wanted to have my children and have him help me with that. And um, that's you get robbed of that. No matter what age you are, it hurts, and it's it's a journey. So I think maybe one of the major things that we can tell the people is that you you should honor your loss. It it is a loss, you know, you know, and uh, it needs to be honored and dealt with, and telling the story, and then finding safe people to talk to about it, right? Because not everybody can hear. Absolutely. There will be a lot of people who try to rush you through your loss, who try to tell you to look on the bright side, who try to tell you to accept it and, quote, move on. First, you need to honor what the loss means to you. Sometimes that takes a period of figuring out what it means. Who am I now? What just happened? Um, I, I found it, even though I'm in this field and I've been in this field for a long time, I found it quite shocking how long that process was and still is, on not on a daily basis anymore. Um, and that healing in six months or a year is just not realistic for most people. So to honor that and to find someone who can support you along that journey. Great. Laura, thank you so much for being on this YouTube today. My pleasure. Thanks for what you do, Gloria. It's so important.